Okay, guys, let's start uh, our today's lecture. Today we will discuss about pre-processing and the data cleaning in machine learning. Okay, uh, today in our agenda we have data pre-processing, um, pre-processing steps in Python, uh, what's data cleaning and why we clean data and the types of data cleaning. Okay, data pre-processing is the uh, data mining technique that involves transforming data into machine understandable format. Why machine understandable format? Because machine understand only numeric variables. Um, it will convert it into binary, then it will all the computations will be done through the numeric way. Okay, real world data often uh, incomplete, inconsistent, and uh, it may lack certain behaviors and trends. Uh, it may contain some errors or missing values, and uh, a lot of discrepancies. Data preprocessing is a proven method for this kind of all these issues and we are preparing our raw data into further pre entire machine learning process learning and predicting new variables okay uh, among data scientists it's accepted 75 percent entire work in ml is data pre-processing if we have scaled, uh, clean, formatted data, training and uh, predicting it is very simple. Okay. Why pre-processing pre is important? For achieving better results from uh, applied model uh, machine learning uh, projects, we sh uh, it should be in proper manner. As we have discussed before, everything should be in numeric format and it should be uh, clean and so on. Now, for example, classification algorithms like random forest, knife bias, decision tree, uh, they cannot work with uh, missing values. If there exists missing value, when we are uh, building logical tree, uh, it will be missing and uh, one of the leaf is empty and it, it could not complete. Or while we are calculating ent entropy, we cannot get it. Yeah. Okay. Another aspect of data should be formatted. Data should be in uh, machine understandable format. Okay. Steps of pre-processing. Mm, now I will generally say one by one, and uh, but uh, we will deep digger uh, in coming afterwards. Uh, also, we will do implementation today. Okay, first we are getting the data set. Uh, after that, we, are, we should import the library. We, we should import data sets. Uh, we should uh, show this, solve missing values. And uh, uh, after that, we should work with categorical data because, uh, oh, because with uh, categorical data, uh, we should convert them into, uh, we should nominate them in order to work further. After that, we should split the data set into training test data set and uh, this uh, things we then last step is future scaling then our pre-processing is ready okay let's move one by one get the data set or data collection actually uh, data collection is the process of collecting data from different sources such as if there exists two there is two types of data collection data sources primary data source and secondary data source Primary data source is when we are directly getting data by ourselves. And uh, we are here, we will be data collector. Okay. Primary source includes online forms, paper-based reviews, phone calls, and interviews on street. Yeah. For example, any kind of Google form we are filling, customer survey, and the other thing. Uh, or sometimes we are uh, filling the form on the paper. Uh, some marketing agencies call us and they are trying to get our feedbacks uh, and some sometimes some journalists or some market or market specialists they are taking interview from the street everything it's uh, everything will be used for the research any kind of data will not be just will not be taken very without any kind of purpose okay the next thing is secondary source is the ready sources when data is already stored somewhere online sources online repositories data centers in data from database 
Okay, uh, now uh, after that, we should import the libraries, uh, which will be mostly used uh, for our pre-processing. Um, we, we need the NumPy library. Uh, first, we should start NumPy library. As we have studied in our uh, Python course, the NumPy library is used for to work with array, one-dimensional arrays, one-dimensional data sets, uh, one-dimensional one lists yeah because a data set consists of list data set uh, its rows of list will be data set uh, detail if we want to dig deeper detailed uh, detailed analysis we need uh, we should convert them list and then we should work okay then we need uh, import mat matplotlib uh, pyplot uh, library uh, it is used for graphical design uh, when we want to plot some graphs, bar chart, scatter plot. We are using pyplot library. Uh, and we need pandas library in order to work with data frames. Okay, as plt, as np, it is uh, take as this variable. Okay, uh, let me show in uh, Anaconda. From Anaconda, we should just open spider now we will work with spider actually what spider spider is the uh, environment uh, it's mostly used for science uh, scientific purposes and uh, it's very comfortable with uh, for machine learning yeah uh, it has some advantage advanced features um, then uh, uh, then our uh, jupyter notebook okay uh, let me uh, here, uh, as usual, control N uh, when we want to create any kind of new uh, folder, uh, new project, we are, we are just pressing control N. Uh, it's the our Guys, if you want to increase the size of this uh, editor, just you should press control plus, yeah? Okay, here uh, it's our editor, it's our console, it's our environment. Here we can see the files, we can see the variables, whatever we are needing, we will need, and the further so on. Okay, uh, as I have said before, let's import the libraries which we need. Yeah. Okay, import. NumPy as NP. Okay, as usual, we should select the line and then press uh, as the same as Jupyter Notebook, Control Enter. Yeah, import NumPy as NP. It is imported. Okay, next library import. Uh, Mat load lib dot py plot yeah as plt mat plot lib as plt okay after that import pandas as pd okay we have successfully imported this library. Um, by the way, we can write a comma hash importing the lib. Okay. In order to uh, specify whatever we are doing, actually Python will not read that line. Now what we are going to do, we are going to import the data set. Okay, importing the data set, uh, actually uh, the CSV data, data format is uh, accepted as a, as accepted uh, as a proper working data format in machine learning. If it's even the Excel format, it's recommended to convert it to uh, CSV comma separated values format yeah 
Okay. In order to import it, import the data, our uh, working environment should be same as uh, where our uh, this code will be saved. We should be very clear, very very careful for that. Okay. In our case, my dataset locates desktop as data science, machine learning. Data processing here. My data CSV is located here. Okay, let's start. Uh, for example, data is equal to pd dot read CSV. Data dot CSV. Let's read it. Yeah, my data successfully read. Okay, in my variable view, it's come. Okay, uh, here I have the data set. Uh, this data set is uh, about that. Uh, the customers are given. Uh, this, uh, it's, we know that it's the trained data set. It's already ready data set. Uh, here, your name, age, and the salary has been given. And uh, uh, it said that, have they purchased the apartment or not? Okay, based on this system, we can make that generate any kind of rule. Depending, we can create a rule that, uh, depending on these indicators, uh, most probably in the future we can predict will they purchase uh, apartment or not. Of course, I know. Uh, anyway, in order to make any kind of research, we need more than um, hundred observations. Uh, yeah, it is that it's for. Uh, it's this today our lecture's top uh, purpose is preparing the data data pre-processing topic it's not about that classification or regression topic it's kind of uh, simplified short format uh, let's uh, here country age and salary are called independent variable or indicators our outcome is called our dependent variable because someone's purchase will depend on either uh, his country, age, and salary. Now, I, now I'm going to specify the my independent and the dependent variable. It's accepted to take independent variable as a x. Yeah? For example, uh, x. Uh, no, if we remember y in regression model, y is equal to x1 b1, x2 b2. It's like that. Yeah. In general, it means that x are independent variable, and it's Kind of accepted from the sixth grade mathematics we know yeah x independent y is dependent y depends on x x is independent we are giving x one two they were accordingly y will change yeah logic is same here also okay uh, in my case my data is data and dot i log uh, i should specify my data range uh, I will take all rows, all rows, and uh, all columns till last. Last one I don't need. Yeah, we know that it will not be included. And the, uh, the values, all values I need. Okay, let's see. X. Yeah, it has been read. Uh, here I cannot see. Because it's data type is object, I cannot see. Now I have two options. Either I can directly edit to console, then I will see my data. If you want to uh, see yeah, here, friends, the country, age, salary only here. That per uh, purchasing outcome is not entered because uh, we specified only indicators. Yes. Okay. Now my task, okay, Acer, we can uh, run from here, control enter. Anyway, if you see two outcome come, two ways works. Which of them you uh, you want to use, it's your choice. Okay, guys, uh, next one is uh, our outcome. Okay, our Y will be, it, it will be same data dot i lock uh, all rows i need but guys i need only one column yeah i need only last column 
because my outcome is this one outcome is either he will purchase or not this is my outcome okay let me see yeah it has been gone I have okay let me go with this way yes no yeah no yes no 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 it's uh if you want to it's the same it's only our uh outcome yeah guys it's a list yeah it's in a list format okay because guys we have finished uh we gather the data uh, we import the library we import the data set now uh I would like to finish uh, first part of this lecture and uh, soon uh, in next part we will continue with other parts. See you.